What's up, YouTube? This is Madcock83, and welcome to the EMC Bible, your guide to creating tons of EMC from Project E in 1.710 of Minecraft. Uh, we're using a lot of mods. Uh, for this particular instance, I am using the DNS Tech Pack because that's what I use. Uh, but most of the mods in here, almost all of them, are from bigger mods that you'll find in probably every mod pack you play. The only, there's only one thing that isn't, and I'll explain that later. Uh, first off, I wanted to show you a little power generation. Now, these are MudPie from a mod called Useful DNS that I actually make, and what it is is a bowl and a dirt, and it makes a little mud pie that you can eat, and it fills up 10 hunger bars. Now, this was made simply for people who don't really care for the food aspect of Minecraft. Me, I play a lot of modded Minecraft, and I'm into machinery and stuff like that, and I really don't care for farming. So that's what that was for, and this will produce a ton of power from the food it makes. You could also use bread just by using a cobblestone generator into a condenser. Make you up some various types of food into a culinary generator from extra utilities, and that's a ton of power, especially uh, starting off in the early stages of the game. Uh, most of us in early generation of EMC will use a cobblestone generator, which is simply cobblestone generator, and uh, use a world integration upgrade from extra utilities again. And the more integ uh, world integration upgrades you use, the faster it will mine the cobblestone. The speed upgrades simply move it down the line faster. Uh, you can put as many of these as you want in there and you know, do your thing. This one has been running for a long time, and a long, long time, and which means it's chewed up 286,000 plus pieces of cobblestone to make these diamonds. Uh, later on in the game, there's the EMC Power Flower that's all using all Project E uh, components. You have your collectors going into, they passively collect EMC. <clears throat> excuse me, and drop it into a relay. These are all the tier 3 or Mach 3 versions, and the, the relay, will I'll put it into a uh, energy condenser, and I think it's about 10 or 11 seconds you will have yourself uh, a new diamond. And it's just simply, you surround the condenser with relays, and then surround the relays with collectors, and there you go. Yay! Uh, moving on, this is something fun from back in the days of TG4 or FTB maps. Uh, this used to be done with red power and was actually a lot quicker. It's not very useful as far as the EMC goes, but uh, are the resources it takes to make it work. You got a little moose room stuck in there, and you can make you can make a moose room with a philosopher's stone. And if you don't know how to do that, you should look it up. Uh, the aqua. The activators <laughs> are right-clicking with the bowls and producing mushroom stew. The mushroom stew is being pulled out and turned back into bowls because the mushroom has a EMC value of 67. The bowls have three, so you, you get a bunch of bowls per mushroom stew. The excess that can't fit in there is going up here and making diamonds. Again, it's not a very, f it's not super fast. It's a lot faster than a cobblestone generator is. But uh, it's a fun little way of doing it. A little timer ticks everything on. Uh, I like these. I've used them before in 164. I just like them. <laughs> They're very. I have a video on how fast these can actually go. So if you're playing Tech at Classic or something along those lines from 125 of Minecraft, uh, these things are extremely fast if you do them right. And I will link the video down here somewhere so you can see it. Uh, what do we have in here? There's a whole bunch of leftovers. Uh, this is a new one I've seen. I Apparently this has been, you've been able to do this for a long time. I just never really thought about it. Uh, what you do is get yourself a golden pickaxe. Make yourself a golden pickaxe. It has 32 uses. You want to use it, you know, go over here and mine you some stuff. Get it down to one durability. Take that and target it in your energy condenser with a flower around it. Uh, that. And they have an EMC value of 192. Uh, what Project E has is a repair talisman, which is what these are. You fill up a chest, a, 
uh, a chemical chest full of them except for the last two lines. And what these will do is repair your tool back to its original state. Well, it, its original state is 6152 EMC, and the broken one is 192, so that's a large, large gain. The only thing you need to do here is place a... Uh, a filter to only pull out the golden big axes because you don't want to accidentally pull out these you want the repair talismans to stay in there and that piece of redstone is simply uh, stopping it from working let's, thaw it in. let's just turn it always active and here it goes as soon as they come in they're getting repaired and going right back out the door uh, with all the upgrades in here I still think this could be a little faster seems to be repairing them faster than it's pulling out but you know you could use um, the transfer nodes we were using way over there those will go a lot faster but anyway it's making a fair amount of diamonds as you see um, I'd say you're probably getting a four to five diamonds a second as it pumps in there probably more than that actually but this one is very quick, very fast, and produces a ton of EMC. If you can get the components to make one, you'll you'll make your resources back in 30 minutes, <laughs> probably less. And you can make more. Uh, now this is an oldie. I don't know if we want to even mess with that one. These four little setups here are all doing the same thing. There's just different machines from different mods such as this one's from Ender IO, this one's from Thermal Expansion, these are both IC this is an IC2 macerator, this is uh, Advanced Machines Rotary Macerator and uh, what they do is take blaze rods uh, whatever you want to call it, sag mill them, uh, pulverize them, macerate them down into blaze powder and these two have a chance of a byproduct of sulfur which also has an EMC and it's a very simple uh, setup if I use the right tools I could probably show you uh, <clears throat> this one in here is pulling out blaze rods pulling them out dumping them in here uh, once it at 64 the excess is going over into here to make diamonds and uh, well, of course you need an, uh, a computer or a capacitor to actually speed this up. This is the slowest of the bunch. Uh, it's got a creative engine. I'm using creative power in all this because the power creation for these machines is probably a different type of video. There's million, you know, there's tons of ways to make power. Uh, but as you can see here, this machine is automatically outputting to its right side, which the blaze powders go back into here. If I could catch one. There we go. Oh, crap. <laughs> anyway, the blaze powder goes in, gets uh, turned back into uh, blaze rods. Let's see. Blaze. There we go. The blaze powder, 768, a blaze rod is 1536. So, what you're doing is if you get four blaze powders, you're getting basically two rods back out of one. So, you're just doubling your output. This one does the exact same thing. The only difference is you're going to need these uh, arguments to actually speed this up to be relatively worth a damn. And do not break holes in your wall. But this one is extremely quick and will produce a uh, fair amount of EMC here. As you can see, the diamonds are flying in. That's probably two to three to four diamonds per second. But yeah placing these back to shut them off. Uh, <clears throat> the difference between these two, the rotary macerator and the regular macerator, now it's a little different than it was back in the past. The macerators from uh, IC2 are actually very upgradable. Uh, but you will definitely need the upgrades to get it to hold the power you need it to. We don't want no blood moon. And this little one is auto ejecting into here. And as you can see, it takes off fairly quickly and is producing way faster. And the benefit of a macerator over these two is it produces five blaze powders, so you're getting back two and a half blaze rods to your one. 
so it's a uh, little quicker of a process but it's definitely more expensive to get because most of IC2 stuff doesn't have an EMC value to begin with and I'm just using uh, some power converters to convert this RF into EU another thing I like about the macerators is the EU that it uses is less than the pull from the RF on these two machines so it's a uh, much less power the only difference from the rotary macerators it has to get up to speed it has to get to 10,000 RPMs and that takes it a while so it's fairly slow starting off and if you ever run into an issue where you lose power or this for whatever reason happens to get jammed uh, as soon as this stops pulling out or you stop having stuff come in the speed slows down and dies uh, these will start up right away and go fast as can be right off the bat now what we do have over here is the exact same setup with the pulverizer that's out here it's this same setup just done four different times around the same energy condenser I have another video which I'll try to put somewhere up here for you to see uh, of a self-sustaining one of these power included uh, yeah power included it'll do everything itself feed itself power wise and make a ton of our uh, EMC here we got 531,000 in a matter of what let's see one two three in about three seconds you're getting half a million EMC um, again I don't like to really just make these just to get free stuff in my world it's more of a challenge to see how fast I can build the EMC and the amount of EMC I can build at a time uh, these over here are as part of the mod that I was talking about you probably won't ever see this is using useful DNS which is a mod I made for the DNS tech pack specifically and uh, how these here work is if you were to make yourself an unobtainium mixture and right click on an unobtainium furnace uh, you get a little blindness for a little while but you get an unobtainium ingot the ingot itself is worth a lot more than the mixture and what this machine down here is doing is simply popping in an unobtainium mixture uh, making the ingot pulling it out turning it back into a mixture and this let's try this Get us a stack upgrade and see how much faster that pulls. Yeah. Anyway, it's doing it on both sides. It's it's really not, you know. It is a exploit, <laughs> which will probably be fixed now that I've shown people this. But it produces a ton of EMC. This one is a more um, self-sustaining one, and it's producing diamonds, diamond blocks at an alarming rate. <laughs> because there is so many of these built up. Uh, this is just using the logistics pipes to automatically keep itself fed. And it's just pulling across and making diamond blocks, which are then making octuple compressed cobblestone. So yeah, that's making a ton of EMC. Uh, let's go dump off some of this we don't need. Uh, this is a newer one that's turning into one of my favorite ones. Here we have a flower, which is producing books and they're being dropped into uh, mine factory loaded auto enchanters now I've tried this on all the settings if you go up to 30 and try to enchant 30 it takes it a lot longer to do the work and you get about the same enchants anyway it's anywhere from let's say 2100 EMC to 5000 EMC based on the enchant that it actually drops on there 4 to 5 go really fast as you can see here the work on them's Oh, not too bad and each time it's taking it's actually pulling them out faster <laughs> let's see if we can grab a few of them there we go see that one's got 4,000 that's 25 that's 25 uh, that one's three and it's simply dropping them in here and it's creating diamond blocks and this is very very stackable because one flower could support I don't know 10 machines on each side so 20 total the only thing here that is important you need is a mob essence and you can produce this in several ways um, 
farm, put, building a farm out of uh, orberry bushes, and putting them into an uh, autonomous activator over there. We'll right-click them. Uh, if you were to take that fluid that it collects from, say, a vacuum hopper and drop it onto a mine factory loaded sewer, that'll turn it into essence. And I mean, there's many ways to do this. Mob farms are great. You know, there's tons of way to make the essences, but you will need that to do it. It's a very, very fun build, and once it becomes very stackable, it's uh, it's kind of fun. It's fun to build. I have one in my personal Let's Play, and it's fun. It was fun to build. It was very, time, very, very, very time consuming. Uh, it's fun. This was supposed to be where I was going to show you a EMC Super Farm from a past video I have. I'll just go ahead and link it, and it'll wind up somewhere on the screen here if you want to collect it. But I changed my mind and decided to build it and improve upon it. So that's what this building is we just walked by. As you can see, it's very massively tall, and there's a reason for that. Uh, this setup is basically what we've got. The only thing down here we're just using another uh, energy bridge from power converters to turn RF into EU and this is going up here and powering four rotary macerators with six overclockers in there if you put another one you put seven overclockers in there the machines explode at least rotary macerators do and what this is doing um, this is a retriever uh, node and what it's doing is pulling out the blaze rods the blaze rod or blaze powder the blaze powders are going here to make blaze rods and and going through the center down here refilling the machines and the leftover blaze rods get dumped into here and it's making a fair amount of EMC this one's been running for a minute too so as you can see that that's that's all EMC building up very quickly and that's from one little setup such as this and if you could find like one of those would easily power this and uh, that would be a lot of free EMC. Well we've taken that to the next level and uh, this machine, let's just take a look at the actual machine itself first. Again I'm using creative power to power this but there are rows of those same designs. One, two, three, four, what do we got here? There's 20 of what was outside in one of these rows and there are eight levels. As you can see, it just keeps going up. <laughs> this is, takes an incredibly long time. I, uh, this was, of course, built in creative. I have built something like this non-creative. The size, the scope of it was just not the same. It was basically, uh, I would say, it may have been this, this, the level may have been the size. I want to say it was smaller because I don't think I did the center part anyway. It was just four on the outside of each one. Uh, basically, they're all being powered from you. They're all dumping their extras into a dimensional trans receiver. Or you could do this with Tesseract. This is just the one I chose. Uh, uh, these were I made some ultimate solar panels, which produce a massive amount of EMC, and that's what's running that side. And these are, uh, I think they're 63 million EMC per tick. It's the I mean EMC. It's the highest EMC value of anything I know of. It's higher than a double compressed cobblestone. Well, each one of those, uh, each dimensional anchor, the channel they're on. Uh, Blaze, Blaze 2, Blaze 3, they're each two levels going into one of these. They drop down and create uh, septuple compressed co uh, cobblestone, which is 4.7 million. And they produce one of those cobblestone every four and a half to five seconds. So that's four, four of them here, all dumping in. They all get pulled out and put into here to make the ultimate solar panel, which is 64 million. Uh, and I put out a calculator just to see uh, if you can imagine that's that's billions of EMC um, at this rate the way the machine runs you're looking at 3.8 million EMC per second uh, 229 million per minute and 13.7 billion EMC per hour so if you ran this thing for an hour you'd have 13 almost 14 billion uh, EMC. 
Now, like I said, this is built in creative and I don't know how practical there are some people that I've seen on YouTube and in, in forum posts that are insane and would take the time to build this because uh, you have to set all four of these down in a checkerboard pattern. There's actually a room where you could put some more here. Very important if you were to build this setup, make sure you power it from each side. I don't think the extra connections are really helping me, but the way EU runs through its lines isn't the same as RF and it they'll tend to run out of power on this end so just putting one on each end won't really use any more power it'll just keep them from losing so much across the line but like I said somebody could very well build this you build them in a checkerboard pattern you have to place exactly six overclockers in each one of these or if you put seven they'll explode which happened several times while building this uh, you don't have to use a, a, a retriever here. My first builds had just transfer nodes here, but you had to put four, and then you had to put four uh, sets of speed upgrades in them. Instead, I just chose to do it here and let the one retriever pull out everything, uh, and then do that several times on one layer, and then continue up. <clears throat> I used MC Edit to actually copy and paste these up here. I do have plans to actually build one of these legitly. I don't know if I'm going to use the same setup, but uh, honestly, after the first four layers, it's not really producing any faster than it was because I originally done this with just the four layers, and I don't think it really sped up. I think it may have sped up half a second on producing one of these with the extra four layers. Like I said, there's eight total. Uh, really four layers enough really one one layer if you were to build this would be more EMC that you would than you would ever need in, a, in an actual game situation but yes I figured you guys would want to take a look uh, I'd love to see anybody else's designs I scoured the internet and other places to find kind of creative uh, EMC generation farms type you know, deals in 1710. Uh, it was a, I found a lot from way back in 125, but these are some of my favorites. Most of, let me see, pretty much all of these were not created by me. I've seen these other places. This one is, however, this is my, this one was my design, and uh, as far as I know, produces the fastest amount of EMC in one seven that I have seen. So I'm calling world record on myself. If uh, if uh, anyone knows a faster way, let me know. Uh, or has built a faster one, please. Again, I would love to see other people's creations. Leave me the videos if I can't find them. But as far as I know, that's uh, that's a lot more EMC than you guys have. So. Build it. Somebody build it legitly and send it to me. I'd love to see it. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you learned something. It's Madcock83. Have a good day.